guys, Zach Gensler here with Service Side. Turn right onto the US 19 West North Ramp, then merge onto I-26 West. Come on now, Google, don't be giving away my coordinates. As some of you may know, I uh, just moved to Greenville, South Carolina a couple weeks ago. I'm um, heading back to my home state, going to Southern West Virginia, public land, uh, bow hunt. It's November 1st, cold front moved in. Should be good, should be real good. Um, took the kids trick or treating last night. Uh, 5 a.m. was up this morning and on the road. Um, six hour drive total, got a couple hours left. Conditions are lining up, it's looking good. We're gonna get in there today. Uh, I'm gonna pack my stand back in, do a little bit of scouting, get set up, find a proper entry and exit point um, for the morning. Got a few days to hunt. Typically, the rut action uh, in this region is a little bit later in November, but as I know, as you know, if you can get out any time in November, that's the time to be there. So, had a few days, decided to go ahead and hunt this front that came in. Uh, buck should be on their feet, looking, looking forward to it. Should be a good hunt, got a good feeling about it, can't wait to get out there. Stay tuned, we'll see what kind of action we can drum up. Hey guys, it's the night of November 1st. Finally at the motel. Um, eating little Fox's pizza here. I'm tired. Uh, made the six hour drive up. Um, went and put several miles of scouting in. Uh, took my tree stand with me. I was hoping to find some good sign to set up on set a stand today for tomorrow. Um, unfortunately it was unfruitful. I didn't like, I didn't get any good sign. Um, actually on the way back to the hotel, I found this little, uh, this area on a different national forest that I think is going to be pretty good. So I'm going to take the equipment in in the morning. Um, scout my way in and set up on some fresh sign. Um, I got a good feeling about this spot, so looking forward to checking it out tomorrow.
places. Got up to this spot, it's tore up with rubs. It's a great point, got a north wind. There must have been a storm that came in and just knocked all these trees over. And all this sapling and new browse and growth has come up through. It's a great point. North wind, a buck in bed right now on this point. Smell anything coming from behind him, see it down over top or down below him, and see it just be a few steps away from a primary bedding area. Uh, keep an eye on the does, be able to smell the does in their bed, know when the first one comes in estrus. Literally just set up on the spot today, never been here before. And 549, I guess I shot him about five minutes ago. First evening, first hunt, beautiful. Harley, I was just sitting here thinking, man, what a bucky spot this is. I got a good chance that I might just go ahead and kill one. First time I set up here and I had everything organized. I was gonna come back and sit at dark to dark tomorrow. That won't be necessary, baby. That won't be necessary. We got him. All right. Super stoked. Super stoked. Thank you, God. Thank you. We got him, baby. We got him. I'm gonna start getting packed up. Sounded like he rolled all the way to the bottom. Trust me, it's a long. Okay, we're out of the tree. It's been about 20 minutes since the shot. I'm packing, packing stuff up. I just wanted to show you all these limbs I had to cut off that tree in order to get into it. I mean, literally. <laughs> Littered. He went down to the bottom. Right there is a tree I was in. We're gonna head right over here to the point of impact and see what it looks like. All right. We're at the point of impact. We got good blood. That's what I like to see. Now let's try to follow this trail without falling down this hill. I'm gonna have to get down the slide. There we go, we got the left. There ain't gonna be no stopping, I don't think. There's a little bit here. Right through here. Let's listen for a second.
There he is. There he is. Oh my gosh. It's not easy to get down. Okay, let's see. I should take another route. Holy smallies. Oh jeez. Oh, I'm taking out. Holy snipes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There he is, baby. There he is. Whoa. All right. There he is. have a look all right guys we got to him November 2nd public land West Virginia definitely not the biggest buck I ever killed but he's a he's a good public land buck good mountain buck um, only had a couple days to hunt nailed him on the first evening um, got a long way to get him out of here by myself It'll probably take me a better part of the night. Um, I'm going to have to pack my gear out first. And then I'll have to come back for him. So, it's going to be a long night. But you know what? That's okay. That's part of what we do. Part of why we do it. Um, the challenge test oneself. He's got all kinds of little brush on his face of his antlers where he was raking that tree as he came in. I think I got some video of that. So... It's actually embedded in it. He's rubbing good. Big body deer, big mountain buck. Um, heard something take off up there. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. Zach Gensler here from Serviceside. Keep up the good work, boys. All right, we got him. We got him back to the truck. Got the truck loaded back up. Head back to the hotel, motel, actually. <laughs> Pulling in back at the house. Gonna get the kids' reaction to the buck. Let's see what they're up to in here. Daddy, I'll see a buck. All right. Honey, the big buck serial killer's home, yes. and he's back from the organic grocery store. <laughs> How was church, guys? What? What do you think, buddy? You can. He won't mind. Yeah, that was the exit wound. Don't put your finger in. <laughs> awesome buck, dude. Thanks. I don't see you. It's a cute buck. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Taking the cooler in. I like it. You gonna be a backcountry bow hunter? That's a wrap. Hey Zach, how was your weekend? Oh, nothing new. Ready to grind out this Monday workout. <laughs>